Trains are a fairly reliable mode of transport. I think we can all agree on that. They used to get you almost anywhere you wanted to be in the UK and even span the entire continents of America and Europe. So it makes sense that with such reliable transport readily available, that the devil himself would use a train to transport some damned souls to hell. An urban legend tells the tale of a station master who was on duty one night in Newark Central Station, New Jersey. An old cowboy had been hanging around the station for a few days, not doing anything wrong, but seemingly striking a nerve with station staff just for loitering around. One night, the man was at the station in a state of panic, calling out to passers-by that, It's coming for me! It's coming for me! And whenever someone asked what was after him, he would say, I've done wrong! I've killed a man that cheated me at cards, and now I'm gonna pay. By this point, the station master had enough and threatened to call the police if he didn't shut up. The old man responded with, The express train for hell is coming for my soul. You've gotta help me. As the clock read two minutes to midnight, a loud whistle was heard coming from down the line. The next train wasn't due until 12.05, which puzzled the station master. The sound of a steam locomotive could be heard rapidly approaching the station, but nothing was seen. The old cowboy was screaming at this point, standing at the edge of the platform and staring at the oncoming noise. The station master pulled the man away from the platform just as there was another whistle and a rush of air as if a train was speeding by. The sound of steel wheels grinding on the rails could be heard and the presence of something big speeding past could be felt, but nothing was there. The old man gave a wail and as the station master turned to look back at him, he was gone. Another account said that the station master was holding the man and that he simply vanished from his arms. The train seemed to disappear down the line until nobody could hear it. When the station master checked the time, it was exactly midnight. The passengers that had witnessed the event were spooked, but the station master did his best to calm them down and convince them it was just a passing train. After the passengers settled down, it said that the station master went to his office and poured himself a large drink before getting back to work. Odds are good that this urban legend is nothing more than a tall tale, but it is certainly one hell of a way to take someone to the afterlife. I wonder if they ever put that on the timetable after the incident. 12 a.m. express to hell. Sounds like a nice trip. Subscribe for more.